on this week's Red Dead 2 O'Clock, Red Dead Online and the journey to rank 50. It's all here on this week's Red Dead 2 O'Clock. Hello and welcome to this week's Red Dead 2 O'Clock. My name is James and we are doing things a little bit differently this week. Now as of today, that's Friday, everyone who owns Red Dead Redemption 2 will have access to Red Dead Online. I've been playing it quite a bit over the last few days and I've been documenting my journey in a series of videos. Now you may have seen episode 1 elsewhere on the channel but I'm going to include it here for those of you who haven't. This is going to become an ongoing series as I try to get up to rank 50, which I'm probably not going to be able to do, but I'd like your help in trying to get there. So let's hang out online together, ride around in posses, rob a few banks, do stranger missions, hunt for treasure, and shoot each other in the head. This will probably form the main basis of the show going forward, seeing as everyone has now played the single player game and online is out for all of you. So let me know your tips and tricks in the comments below, and hopefully I'll end up getting quite good at it. As for the main Red Dead 2 o'clock show, we'll obviously come back with special episodes for things like news and announcements, and you can follow my journey of Red Dead Online every Friday at 2 o'clock just like normal. But for now, here's episode 1 of my journey to rank 50. Like a lot of you, I've been getting stuck into Red Dead Online. Right now I'm still learning how everything works, what game modes are best and how not to die or the... But I have a plan. I'm going to make it my mission to get to rank 50 in just 10 weeks, and I'm going to document my progress right here. Maybe I'll even get good. Here's what happens as I try to get to rank 5. Red Dead Online starts in the Sheriff's Office, and once here, having been captured, you choose your character from a selection of two default skins. It was at this time that I stepped away from my PS4, so my character was chosen and created by somebody else. I hate it. So, we're off to a good start. Yep. We then skip forwards a few months to the penitentiary, where we're loaded into a wagon and taken towards Blackwater. And we're promptly rescued by a stranger. Don't do anything stupid, nobody gets shot. Act like fools and the pair of you will be dead within a minute. You all run away, aside from you. Ugh, look at that stupid beard. The stranger is Mr. Hawley, and after talking to his mistress, we learn that we're in jail after... You were set up by one of three men or a woman. Possibly by all of them. Following that, I get my first hat. Miss Leclerc wants some people dead, and after a little chat, we're taken to see Mr. Cripps. He's going to help me set up a camp at the Great Plains, and look at that, I've reached level 1. From here, I travel to Blackwater, where we meet the post clerk, and get a tip-off about some stagecoach robbery in tall trees. See what you can do, okay? Searching the hideout up there, and dealing with the outlaws... This is a place for you! gets me a treasure map, and following that, some gold, and up to rank 2. I've also got an ability card here that seems to give me the option of buying one of three perks for my Deadeye ability. I'm not sure which one's best, so I pick Paint It Black. This allows me to paint targets onto enemies, and also reminds me of the Rolling Stones song. So far, so good. Another story mission, which you have to complete before the open world becomes available, gives me my first experience of playing with other people. The lobby shows me how much better my character would have been if I had designed it myself, and I'm sad again. I really hope there's an option to change your appearance later down the line. They're out of Manzanita posed with a bunch of horses they stole from me. <laughs> well, that's a lie, but they stole them off a fella I was going to steal them off of. <laughs> So we're off to rob some horses. I didn't know it at the time, but this mission is important because the horse you steal here will become your default horse for the rest of your time online. Or until you get a new one. I pick this nice brown one, escape, and then somebody else's horse dies, so we have to start again. The second time around I jump on an ugly grey horse, and of course this time we finish the mission. So now I'm stuck with a stupid beard and an ugly grey horse. It's yours. A sign of faith and future business. If you want to buy any extras or sundries for the animal, head inside. They've got a lot available. I buy it a saddle and call it Dominus, but mainly because it was free. Seriously, this guy is getting traded as soon as I can afford it. Back to the camp, and it's here that the real online journey begins. <laughs>
everyone who starts Red Dead Online will go through that same opening section to get to this point without too much deviation. So it's what happens next that will be unique. I'm at rank 4 now, so only one more level to go before I've reached the goal for this part of the story. I changed my horse access to posse only, and seeing as I'm not in a posse, I think that's the same as not letting anyone else have it. And wanting to see what multiplayer is really like, I jump into a showdown series. This series features smaller teams and maps, so I figure it's the best way to ease me into multiplayer. The first game type is Name Your Weapon, where the weapon type you get a kill with determines the number of points you get for that kill. The more challenging the weapon, the more points you get. The game I drop into already has my team losing by 16 points. But, as I said, this is more about learning the ropes than winning. I see my first enemy, miss him four times, and get killed. I try a cannon which is worth five points for every- damn it! I enter the fort and fail to shoot this guy up on the balcony, but his friend comes running down and I easily pick him off. With 30 seconds left of the match, I try to shoot this guy from behind a tent, but die in the process. We lose, but that's okay. Four kills, five deaths, and a rating of ye yellow? I'm not sure that's fair. I earn three dollars, two nuggets of gold, and 139 XP. Next we're on to Bulgar Gate and a classic team gunfight. I've joined at the start of the match this time, so at least it's a little fairer. But I'm caught looking at this barrel, and despite using Deadeye, get killed. Then I shoot this guy, a lot, but then get another bullet in my stupid beardy head. Hmm. What? Two kills, five deaths later, and we've lost. I quit that playlist and return to free roam in the hope of getting more XP by doing missions than being shot in the head. I pick a stranger mission up from Strawberry and am explicitly told not to kill the driver of the wagon and just to intercept it. I like the fella well enough, so I'd rather you didn't you know what him. I shoot the people protecting the wagon, which apparently I wasn't supposed to do either. Driving the buggy back though gets me 229 XP, so it seems like missions are the way forward for now. And look at that, I'm at rank 5. I'm still finding my feet here, and I'm not entirely sure what the best way to earn XP is, or put a good string of kills together, but stick with me as I progress through the ranks, and hopefully we can look back at this one day and laugh at how stupid I was being. Next week, the journey from rank 5 to 10, and hopefully a haircut. <laughs>